Hi girlies, it's me, I'm back, and I just wanted to pop on to quickly show you a lot of these small leather goods that I've recently bought at Hermes. Even though I did just receive my Birkin 30, I'm still on my Hermes journey because I'm really gunning towards a Kelly 25. So I'm gonna do a lot of unboxings here. Uh, there's a lot of different things, a lot of different types of leathers as well, so I'm excited to show you. And then please stick around to the end of the video because I will be doing my subscriber giveaway at the very end. And how to participate in the giveaway will also be at the end of the video, so stick around because you definitely do not want to miss this opportunity. I'm going to do the unboxing and then I'm going to do a little bit of a story time with my most recent visit which was actually today because I learned some very interesting things and there have been some changes in the SF store that I think are really cool and interesting so I'm excited to show you guys. Before we jump into it, hi I'm Sammy G Shop. I make videos once or twice a week on luxury and fashion. I have a couple series on my channel. Number one is this Hermes series and I've also just filmed a how I got started on YouTube video. I'll link it here just in case you're interested in that. Okay but let's jump right in. There's no specific order. I'm just gonna unbox and unwrap and get to it. So let's just start with this smallest one and oh my god guys, let me tell you I've been obsessed with this color so I've gotten a couple things actually in this color but it is my very first Bastia in mauve pale. Oh my gosh, isn't she so cute? So this is actually in Evercolor leather. So it's a much softer leather than, for example, Epsom, which a lot of their small leather goods come in. Um, it's very, very pliable and durable. I do hear that if you get something larger in the Evercolor leather, it will start to kind of deform a little bit and sag, but because it's tiny little Bastia and I'm gonna be careful with it, I think it's perfect. I think the leather feels absolutely divine and so supple and soft. So inside, you can just see that it does have the little Hermes stamp with the palladium button, and then it also has like the stamp date inside. But this is considered a coin purse, so I think it was kind of designed to keep coins, but I'm not going to keep coins because I don't ever keep cash and coins around on me. I have seen people use this as a AirPods Pro case or like a Beats Pro case. Either one will, I think, fit perfectly fine in it, so that's kind of what I was planning to use it for. But I think it's also really great. You can put hair ties in it or just on the go, for example, if you just need to take off your jewelry and pop it in here, it's going to be a really secure place to keep all your valuables inside your bag and just like not get lost because sometimes when I go out shopping and I'm trying on like earrings or necklaces you know you take the current ones they're having off and you kind of set it on the table I've definitely a couple times started to walk away before I realized oh my god I set something on the table so this is going to be a perfect just reminder to keep everything safe inside so that is the first item oh my gosh this mauve pale color is so cute I hope it's getting captured on camera well because the lighting in my house is going a little crazy right now it is super super hot and stuff right now but yes that's the first item the second item, actually I know which one is inside here, but it is very hand in hand with what I just showed you. And this, like my essay was just like, do you want this? I was like, yes, I want this. It is the cutest thing. It is also in mauve pale, the burn card holder with palladium hardware. Oh my gosh, isn't this incredibly beautiful so this is in epsom leather so there is a noticeable difference in the durability of the leather so ever color is like a natural grain this one is an embossed leather so it does give you a little bit more protection against any wear so i really like that and inside it is very very roomy it has two compartments on either side for card slots and it does have this kind of extendable side flap here so you can fit a ton of cards in here i haven't started using it yet because i did just get it today but this is so beautiful so the only downside to this <laughs> burn card holder is definitely the price so let me just mention the price for this one and the bastia so the bastia evercolor in calfskin was 255 dollars i do think depending on the leather the prices can just vary a slight bit so the bastia was 255 dollars but the burn card holder was a hefty 1550 dollars so i think that price really puts a lot of people off because for that price you can go get a canvas bag at like celine or louis vuitton so to get something like this is very small for the price that you're paying for sure but I think I'm kind of done with my small leather goods journey at this point because I've just gotten so many recently, but this color, it's seasonal, there's no guarantee it's going to come back, so I just had to snatch it and 
I think that it's just so beautiful. And also I think at the same time when your essay is going out of their way to offer things to you. So for example, like all of these were just kind of randomly offered to me by my essay. I did ask for the Bastia, but all the other ones, they were just kind of like, hey, are you interested in this? And I think that when your essay is showing interest in you and remembering you and thinking about what kind of color schemes that you like, I think it's also good to sustain the relationship by taking them up on some offers. Obviously, if you don't like it, don't take it, but this one is definitely on the pricey side, but I absolutely love it. So if you're considering, I haven't seen too many photos or YouTube videos about the burn card holder in particular, but it is absolutely cute. And I did want to show you the size comparison to the Calvi card holder that I recently got as well. So I showed this in a previous video, my Hawaii haul, but this one is a beautiful Calvi in Gris Pale. It's just the most lovely, lovely color ever. And you can see that they're actually really, really similar in size. Of course, the Calvi is much cheaper. I think this was just under $400 versus the $15.50 going on here. But just for size comparison, if you're curious, they're basically the same size. And both hold a ton of cards. I would even recommend just getting like the Calvi, for example, if you have a lot of cards to carry. For example, you have a lot of credit cards, a lot of membership cards, or you want to carry business cards as well in here. The space in here, it's very loose here. So if you are a person that only carries like three or four cards, your cards are going to kind of slip around here every time you open it, unless you just keep it on one side. So just something to note, but they're very, very spacious card holders, both made of Epsom, both lovely. This one's the much cheaper alternative. But this one is definitely cuter. So next up is something really, really popular to get at Hermes. I think tons and tons of people have it, and it is definitely one of the top three most popular leather colors as well. But it is the Tarmac Passport Holder in e -tube. So this one is also an Epsom, so again, really durable, great for travel. Your passport fits really, really snugly in here, so you actually have to kind of put some force to push it all the way into the bottom here. You can see that there's like a little bit of stitching on this corner, but it's just super simple. I do actually really like the fact that it's kind of open on both sides because it's really easy to just slip your boarding pass in on the top or anything else that you need for travel. And it's just simple, right? There's nothing crazy about it. It's just gonna protect your passport and keep any other travel documents that you need inside. And a tube is a beautiful neutral to have. I personally don't think a tube is in my top three. I know a lot of people love it as a neutral, but I think that the brown is just a little dark for my taste. I think maybe as I get older, I might appreciate it a little bit more. So this is actually a gift for one of my very best friends. Um, she's been kind of talking a little bit more about Hermes because I've started my journey. So I'm really hoping that this is a great way to kind of get a little bit more introduced to the brand, get the feel of the leather and understanding of their popular colors. So I'm really, really excited to give this to her and I really hope that she likes it. She's going on her honeymoon soon. So it was a perfect gift. The Tarmac Passport Holder is $245 pre-tax, so it's actually slightly cheaper than the Bastia. I think a pretty good price for a really, really nice quality passport holder. You also want to always be on the lookout for these because they always come out in so many different colors. Right now, the colors that like are on the website and even in store, there's like a really bright blue. I'll try to put a picture up here. There's also Vert Fizz, black. So there's tons of colors to choose from. If you don't like this one or you don't like the ones that are currently in stock, I think you can just wait a couple months and then there will be new colors available. So definitely recommend this one. And then the last small leather good that I picked up today is da, 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 my second Rodeo charm offered to me by my very lovely essay. So let's open her up together because she is so special. It is an all black Rodeo touch. So you can see that it has a little bit of alligator on saddle and oh my gosh I'm just so in love the monogram colors for rodeos are particularly hard to get especially in the neutral colors like gold or cray or New World, for example, like this. And personally for me, I think if it's a monogram and it's just all leather, it looks a little dull and kind of boring, but adding that little touch element just brings a little bit of texture and it's definitely more interesting to look at. So as soon as my essay sent me a picture of this, I was like, yes, immediately, yes. I'm still praying and hoping that I still get like a little rodeo that has a little bit of mauve pale in it because I think that one is so cute, but this one is gorgeous and I could not be happier. So I'll include the pictures here of my new all black one next to my other one that was the Cray and Burt Fizz Rodeo and they're gonna be best friends and they're just gonna ride off into the stable together. So Rodeos that are all leather will usually retail for $500. This Touch Rodeo in the PM size 
was $820 pre-tax. So there is definitely a jump in price, but it's a lot less of a jump because just the saddle is in croc. If you got a Pegasus, there would definitely be a larger jump there. Just wanted to show again, this is the matte alligator on the saddle. And I just happened to be wearing all black when I went into the store today. It's super hot, but me and this little girly were just two peas in a pod. All exotic leathers at Hermes also come with CITES. So today I learned that it was CITES, not sites, but this is just paperwork to guarantee like the authenticity of any exotic leathers. And that is it for my small leather goods. I actually went into the store just to pick up these and then I just kind of got everything else along with it. But I'll just quickly show you these. Nothing special. They are just a pair of white oasis sandals because i actually don't have a pair of oasis sandals yet i got these in half a size larger so i always thought that the oasis were more true to size and that the orans you have to size half a size up but actually half a size up fit me a lot more comfortably than my true size so i would comfortably say that for Hermes, I would just go half a size up for pretty much any shoe that I get there. So I did get these in a 38. Normally in other designer shoes, I am a 37 and a half, but they fit perfectly. And I think they're just a beautiful casual neutral to have in anybody's wardrobe. And I tend to wear a lot of lighter colors as well. It's either like all black or like all white for me kind of. So I thought this was a great pair to add because I did just get a pair of black sandals from Hermes as well. So so happy to add these to my collection really comfortable. These were priced at $770. So, you know, just right there at the beginner price point of Hermes shoes. Okay, before we wrap up the video and get to the giveaway, I did just want to talk about a little bit of my experience going into store today. So the SF store actually has something really exciting happen, and it is that they finally got bags for display. So I'm going to include a lot of pictures here of the bags that I took, but they had the most beautiful bags on display. All of them say display only, but they had Picatins, Constance, Mini Constance, Mini Lindy, Birkin, Kelly 25, Alligator, just everything on their bag wall was just beautiful. They picked out the most pastel colors available. They had Rose Sakura, they had Vert Fizz, they had just like beautiful icy blues, baton, and then they also had a lot of for display only in their kind of small leather goods section of the store as well. So they had Constance Slim, they had the Burn Wallet, they had a ton of things and they were just all in the cutest color, Kelly to go, everything. So it is really exciting because for a long time I just had to look at pieces that I wanted kind of online or from other YouTube videos. Now it's nice to be able to go into store and actually kind of see the product in person. You're not allowed to touch them, you're not allowed to try them on or anything, but just looking at the sizes and looking kind of at the shape of different bags and things like that was really clarifying and I think it will help a lot of future Hermes customers when they go into store and they're actually able to see all these beautiful bags. They even had the super cool like I think it was called like Kelly Disorder or something like that where it's kind of like off center off clue picture here and the correct name here as well but everything was so beautiful and also I don't know if it was because they got that huge display bag shipment or something but my essay was just on an offering roll. So actually, after I had kind of picked out my shoes and we got all these smaller, the goods sorted out, I was offered a mini Constance in ostrich in green tortorelle and I cannot even describe how beautiful it was in person. I will include pictures here, but it was my first time ever holding a mini Constance and the leather was just so divine. The Gris Tortorelle was definitely a little bit darker, I think, by the ostrich. I think Gris Tortorelle usually appears a little bit lighter on other letters, but beautiful gold hardware. I would love to one day add it to my collection, but I am not going to compromise on my second quota bag. I really do just want a light colored gray or white quota bag with palladium hardware because I am going to be engaged within the year most likely so I think it would just be a really special way to commemorate that really big special event so I did turn down the mini Constance in ostrich so beautiful so sad that I had to do it but then after that he was like okay well let's just go find some other bags for you so he pulled out a picotin it was in this yellow color though so I turned that down as well and then he went to go find a 2424 unfortunately he thought it was a mini but it's actually a larger size than the 2024 so just a little too bulky for me and then lastly he did pull out a Lindy 26 in a tube I think it would be a bag that so many girls and women love but unfortunately for me it was just like too bulky because a Lindy 26 is actually just a shoulder bag the strap that comes with it is just connecting the two straps together very short so the way that it's worn is just like 
a really fat kind of bag right here on your shoulder so it is like a working bag I think it would be good for some people just it was not the right bag for me I do think that I might put a mini Lindy or a Pikachu 18 on my list soon but my essay and I were talking kind of while the bags were coming in and out and he was like yeah I think these bags may be not perfect for you they're a little bulky but just let me know what styles and what colors you want and then we can definitely get them for you and so now I'm just kind of thinking about exactly what the perfect combination would be for me for a non photo bag if you have any suggestions on what I should add to my collection next please just leave them down below but it was actually so funny like in the flurry of just like pulling all these bags from the back he did accidentally pull someone's special offer for me it was like this tiny little like bag um if I can find the name and like a similar picture I will put it up here but it was like this tiny tiny mini bag in this bright green color <laughs> and someone called him and he was like oh that's actually someone's special order I thought it was so funny but something was going on at Hermes today like there were just bags flying out of the bag so very interesting I did also ask because like I had been accidentally offered that special order from somebody how exactly special orders happen at a store because I've kind of been seeing in some forums people posting that they're getting their special orders some people were saying that it happens like twice a year once in the fall once in the spring the stores kind of allow people to offer special orders to people so I casually asked about it I first asked you know like is it possible to get small other goods customized because I'd seen some like duo calvies that were customized for specific colors and he said oh that was actually something that happened in Europe not really something that we do here and he told me that there are kind of like three major special order events that happen at Hermes at least at that boutique that he was aware of he said number one is the horizons so basically that is a special order for anything so bags whatever mini bags SLGs I think anything can fit into the horizons category and so what that is is that every essay at the store is allowed to give out one horizons offer to a customer so for the entire year he said you only get one each essay only gets one so if you are chosen as your essay it's a special one horizons offer you are invited they bring out the swatches to make your perfect dream bag and i think pretty much everyone these days is just making their perfect dream kelly and i would love to do that too so he also said that there is going to be a special shoe special order event coming up in like two weeks but the shoe event is actually just going to be customized orders for exotic shoes so if you wanted that bright orange croc she for sandal you know that is your event to go to I personally don't want any exotics on my shoes I think that's just like too precious for me to be wearing on my feet so didn't want to go to that event and then he also said that they do take special orders for ready to wear I don't exactly know how that works I didn't really ask about that any further but those were kind of like the three major special orders that happened personally at my boutique that he was aware of and then he did ask you know are you interested in doing a special order and I was like um yes I'm interested in doing a special order so then he said he would keep me in mind the next time that kind of special horizons event pops up so really crossing my fingers I think I will definitely be making a mini Kelly if the opportunity arises but I will keep all of you guys updated exactly how the process goes if I've ever offered such a special treat so that brings us to a wrap on my kind of small leather goods haul from Hermes. Before we end the video, I do want to show the giveaway item once again. So this is actually something that I bought on my Hawaii trip. And again, it's just to show an appreciation for you guys. This is kind of the giveaway that I'm doing in honor of reaching 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. It is a really big milestone for me and I am so grateful to each and every one of you who have supported my channel so far. So this is the giveaway item it is just the most neutral basic Louis Vuitton card holder in their beautiful Damier Iben canvas I chose this because it is just such a durable leather it's a great starter piece to anybody looking for a luxury card holder and this is going to wear really well it's going to be really hard to kind of damage this and so it is going to stay in your collection for a very very long time because I hope that you guys will be a part of my channel for a very very long time as well so the giveaway requirements are very similar to the last one all you have to do is like this video be subscribed or subscribe to my channel and then comment down below which your favorite SLG was from this video or if you have a recommendation of which Hermes bag I should add to my collection next. You can also do a bonus entry this time if you go to my How I Got Monetized on YouTube video and just like and comment anything you want on that video that will also count as a bonus entry towards this giveaway. So this card holder will come with everything, come with a receipt and also beautifully packaged in this dust bag and box so it will come just like it would from this store and I am so excited to gift something else to my lovely subscribers. The giveaway will be open for two weeks. You can check the description to see the exact close date of the giveaway, but good luck to everyone. I'm so excited to 
chat with whoever does win the giveaway. Well, that brings us to a wrap on today's video. I hope you enjoyed all the little goodies that I got from Hermes today. I think they're all so adorable and so functional as well. So I'm really excited to start using them. If you have any questions or comments about anything that was mentioned in the video, please just leave them down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll definitely see you in the next one. Bye!